Um, we not only look at the end result of where they want to go, but we take it back to where they are now, the situation that they're in now, and break it down into first step three months from now, halfway, all the way, and then there. So um, we do class plans with each of our final members that come through our service, and that just helps us have an overview of um, the individual and their And in saying that, so what we've been able to do when doing videos is that's an easier way to link us through how we're going to support, how they are going to be interviewed. So it starts off on where they're at right now. So it talks about that in their current situation and then it goes through like who has helped them or who's supporting them, so who have they enrolled. That's the next step. Then the next one after that is what do they want to make stronger? So what relationships, um, knowledge, skills do they want to make stronger? And then what are your blocks? So it's already giving us somewhat of a story to go through and then it ends up at, at the end result or the end goals and it talks about three months from now I'm going to be at this place and six months from now I'm going to be at this place and then a year from now I'm going to be at this place and it's all in a positive aspect as if it's already happened so it's not I'm going to get there I'm already there so in three months I'm there already in six months I'm there already and that's what we want to well that's how we portray our kōrero or within the videos that we produce so who, I mean, most of us know what a plan is, a path plan or a plan, a whānau plan, plan, but who's the best person to describe what a plan is? <coughs> Should a kaiārahi find, uh, have a place in there as well? No. So that's another thing. Well that's another thing to consider is like your cast and Sometimes you can ask the same question to the kaiārahi, to the whānau, and then you choose which answer kind of gives you what you need for the, for the video piece that you're creating. Always thinking about duration, and in terms of social media, that one was quite long. And you know, who has gone on social media, clicked on something like YouTube, and then if it goes eight minutes, you go, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't have eight minutes, that's way too long. Whereas if it's one minute or two, you go, okay, but you have to catch me in the first 10 seconds. Because otherwise I'm like, oh, no, nah, it's boring. Um, and that's the attention span that we're dealing with now, so that's what you've got to think about. When you're um, talking about planning, though, <coughs> who is a natural planner? Who loves planning? And like the guy you said, loves charts. Who loves, <laughs> who loves plans? <laughs> Who finds the idea of planning scary or boring? <laughs> I find it quite confronting. People say, what's your name? Um, so that's another thing to consider. That for some people, if you're trying to sell, and then we plan, they go, and then I'm not coming. <laughs> you know, so you've got to think about that in terms of how we speak with people. Say, so aspiration tends, tends to speak to some people if they know what the word means. Mm. Or if you say, what's your dream? I had this dream, but I didn't think it was going to happen. I went to find my order. It took me a while to admit this is my dream. And now they're helping me because I needed some help. You know, simple words and the vernacular of our people is beautiful. And that's one of the reasons why our Fano, like I mean, we're just like comedy shows. I know for um, when I was doing some writing on things like Find Me a Mummy Bride, it was so easy. I was like, oh, just put my uncle in there. Um, this, oh, what about a guy who has too much work? Too much. Too much. It's easy. The vernacular is so interesting. So keep focusing on the change it. We're not trying to make a cold day yeah. <laughs> Who else has got any questions that you came up with? I, um, I really do help people. Yeah, he said I didn't think that, you know, I, I felt like I was just so myself yeah. <coughs> very much associated with working and the living in a bit. Yeah, so that was quite mm -hmm. powerful. Cool. Any other papa you want to share? I have a question then. So a big part of this is the audience of the video, who, who you are and you know, who you are after. Yes. Because these ones here are about showing the success of Whanau. Right? 
but we might avoid different areas or uh, goals that we need to show. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to decide at the beginning what you're trying to achieve with the video and who it's for. And yeah. And then, then those really standard questions, who, what, where, how. So in journalism, that's always what you go for. And as simple as that sounds, it's amazing how much people forget it. And you go, watch you go, wait, what? Where, where did they go? Or who's doing this? Me? But they are not. Um, what about in terms of who has been able to create something to this level? That sort of video of professionalism. <coughs> well, it's, it's a, money is a barrier, then. resources are a barrier. Um, is there anyone here who's in a position that they can commission things? Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? We do it at the car. I mean, what we've done is we've used it in our company. So we know that they, um, that's how they see the world, that's a good place, to, um, a good platform to see the money that we do. So we've invested in um, the, the resources and so on. I guess with our work, I'm lucky that you know, they have to do So they'll go to a play and put it But um, we've been able to create videos that people are going to see. But they've got to be creative. Like they've got to be in a space where they're allowed to be in the There's no boundaries to what they can release or how they and then digital natives. Yeah. But it's about investing, even, and I would even suggest it, so I tell people, invest in a cab. You know, get them to come out and teach your company. Just how to use your phone to create stuff. It's really, I wouldn't say it's a good But for some people, it is if they've got just a little bit of a workshop, how to. Yeah, and if you don't know who Pam is, Pam made the video. This is his lovely daughter, Anne, who's filming us now at, oh, what are you cutting? 14 years old? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, yeah, that's sort of shame, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is, they are digital natives, so they can do it so easily. So Cam uh, was, is a friend of ours, and I was able to kind of, you know, connect him with the leader. He does good rates. Um, but, but, yeah, investing in your own people, actually learning how to author, is what today is about as well. So let's talk social media. So we're going to get straight into it. Who has any form of device? Ready to have your mouth on the table at the moment? Android, Apple, everybody? Who doesn't? It could be anything. It could be a tablet, any form of everything. Okay, so which social media platforms do you know of? So one in that as a group, 30 seconds out of class. What are some other ones to make with these? Facebook, Facebook. LinkedIn, Facebook. Pinterest, Twitter. Pinterest, Twitter. YouTube. YouTube. Instagram. Instagram. WhatsApp. What's that? Line. 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 Tinder. Yes. <laughs>
Yeah, it's a grinder. Obviously, you want your grinder. Grinder? Okay. Um, but to give you some real Maori for Tinder, who are the equal? Light the fire with the equal. Uh, interesting question around Messenger. Who uses Messenger for money for interacting with Barlow? What do you like about Facebook Messenger?
to you. Thank you. 
stand out because it's all about standing out. There are so many options now of social media. So, answers to this question, please. What social media engagement does your organisation have at the moment? Who has? YouTube. What do you do on YouTube? What do you do on YouTube? You just all listen to the YouTube one. Yes, we've done some really amazing stuff on YouTube. And then how will you share the YouTube clips? How will you get people to know about it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's a plan. Okay, we're going to make a plan. Uh, who has something other than Facebook? Uh, YouTube? Yeah. Do I want to answer? Yeah, your organisation. Yeah. Oh, no, just Facebook. Okay. Yeah, we have Twitter as well. Facebook and YouTube. What's your Twitter handle? Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be VIP, uh, MVPs even, when it comes to Twitter, out of everyone, and that's pretty much it. Because <laughs> that's the thing, we were here two years ago and not much has changed. <laughs> Facebook a bit more, near Whitney, but not much has changed in the last two years in terms of how much we're seeing whānau water over social media. And one big thing is, is that if I'm trying to share something to Pai Matakana and I'm going through your websites, I'm going through your pānui, I can't tell which of your kaupapa are whāna order, because you don't tell us. If I can go through and find out from your manager if that's a whāna order kaupapa, because you know sometimes you've got contracts with different people, and you don't hashtag whāna order, so I'm trying to find out if it is actually whāna order kaupapa. Uh, there's some work being done on the brand, but that's a really simple thing you can do. It's just hashtag whānau order on your kaupapa, because otherwise we don't know if it's just something fabulous you're doing with the iwi, something fabulous you're doing with TPK. TPK ones, we tend to just jump on them anyway and go, oh yeah, that's sort of close to me. Um, so we could use those. <coughs> okay. How about more? What do you currently achieve with social media? What sort of engagement do you get? Well, you know, you get to what's happening, what's happening within your organisation, you know, sharing co-copper. Do you think, uh, like, how would you describe what level are you at? Like, say, for more than five stars, how good is the engagement, do you think? Depending on the co-copper. If it's tangi, if it's tangi orientated, it's going to happen because that's all they do is they're on Facebook all the time. But then if it's uh, Pakeke or Kaumatua, no, it's not that much engagement, depending on, yeah, it just depends on the topic. And when it comes to particular kaupapa before Rangatahi, what are their big topics? What are they most interested in that you get the best engagement from? What's happening and what's free? Food. 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 Can you pick me up? Yeah, yeah. And competition. Competition. Win, win, win. So the thing about that is you might go on a social media high and go, oh, look at all this engagement and look how great we did. But how do you measure whether that's an ongoing engagement? And then, when none of you need us, do they come to you? Has that built a relationship? It's quite hard to be able to measure that, but one thing that you could measure, and, and feel free to add what you think, now, is ongoing engagement. And the fact that they keep on coming back, and people that you're seeing in person are actually on your page. Because for Rangatahi, uh, it's all about curating their profile and what they want to be seen to do. I see that heaps in the Reo Māori space. Lots of people want to be seen to go to Wāmana, 300 of them in fact, and then 20 turn up. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's been scientifically proven you can't learn Pedro Māori by liking a Facebook post. <laughs> but you can show all your friends that you want to. So it's about being cool enough for them to like you. And you actually have it easier than Paumatakana. I think the Michigan agency is not that sexy. But when we share your stories, then that speaks to people. 
So you doing well helps us. It's actually a reported method as well. Okay. And what we've found as well, because um, we're based in South Auckland, so we're based in Manirewa, um, is local heroes, so people that are from the, the area, from wherever you might be from, um, and having them on your on your pages or on your harangi and stuff like that, then it's drawing in more than a few or more yeah. farmers. So because they, they understand who that is, they're like, oh, you know, that's da da da. They're, they're going to be there as well. So I want to be there at that place as well. You know, so it's just and making sure that um, yeah, we're doing once again reiterating. We do understand who our audience is, who we want to be, who we want to come along to our hui and all of that kind of stuff. And and the biggest one that we've found as an organisation is that you do have to be on there nearly, it's like another job, you know, and understanding that this is something that if we have an event, then we've got to make sure that we're promoting it, because that's also another way that we're getting fun to come in. So one of the ones that we're doing at the moment is our Maori and Pepe one, and that, that at the moment is going off because um, these are new ways that our mama are understanding how to look after themselves. And it's all for free as well, so we understand that, once again, it's, a, it's another thing. You know, free things is, I don't have a block to it. Mm -hmm. So we've got to make sure that, okay, cool, we've got to find some food here for, for our people to be able to do this kind of stuff. So this is, yeah, some of the things that we're learning as an organisation, and that is hard, because it feels like one person has to be delegated to it. But then we've got to understand that, no, there's a team, there's a team of us. There might be only three or four, but it does mean that, okay, cool, can you do this and can you do that? But you do have to be on social media as much as you can, as a partner or as a um, so that Fana can see, oh, okay, cool, yeah, we're going to go to this because this happened last week. Oh, I remember that. And Fana was saying that too. So, oh, I went to this one on uh, the last set of one know. You should go on, it was awesome, blah, blah. So then they're also commenting and sharing uh, their experiences, which is also another way that we can find it. What do you think you could achieve that you're not, perhaps? You can know you're dead if you don't have social media. You're the best yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is the biggest thing. And then ongoing relationships. It's also brand building. Like, do I feel who found no transformation? I feel like I've been there. Mm -hmm. Because I you know, watch their Facebook page and I see Ke Pai Tata and I, it speaks to me. I can remember it. I've got good recall. So it's branding that's free. Or well, almost free. Apart from your family. And who uses Facebook personally? We talked a little bit about the other one. So if you're using Facebook personally, does it feel like work if you have your work one on there as well? Yeah. So what's your way around that? Cool. So um, are you in our organisation? What we've been able to do so that our personal profile pages or our, our personal Facebook pages stay there? Um, and we understand that some of us work with Fano and all of that kind of stuff. So um, at our organisation, we do have teams. So um, there's a Manatiaki Porangatai team, there's a sexual health service team. And what we've been able to do is then make a, a kaimahi or team profile. And Fano can add that page. And that way, they're still staying up to date um, with what uh, we're up to as an organisation. But it does mean that our personal information or what we're getting up to in the weekends um, stay our own personal <coughs> information um, and that way um, also we're protecting both them as a fund and us as an organisation. So that's what we've been able to do is tell is have uh, our, our own uh, team pages. So you, you might see in the group page that there was a Manatiaki, so this is our Manatiaki uh, team page and this is another way that we're staying in contact with our Fano on Messenger and all of that kind of stuff too. Okay, uh, let's move through. Any questions, by the way, just go for it. Um, so, a few of them explained. Um, let's go through, we've mentioned Facebook, but it's not showing the whole thing. But anyway, this is your mama and pepe wānanga uh, that you were talking about. So the reason that it speaks to people is it's a beautiful meme, right? It's a beautiful picture. People go, oh, no more, okay, that speaks to me. Faces, people love to see their own faces. They love to see the faces of other people. People are becoming rich on Instagram by just showing their faces and their bodies, of course. <laughs> but those kind of things, you know, it's a hard one because for some of us it's not natural, but it does build a brand. Facebook. Um, so the difference with Facebook, what is on your mind? So that is what Facebook is based on. 
a billion users worldwide, and personal profiles, groups, closed groups, like we're using public pages. They've got different rules, so you have to figure out what will work for you and what you want to actually achieve. So that's about a, a strategy for your social media. It's a great place for partnering and getting the word out. Uh, the Facebook pages and groups that we love and give a sense of brand always do the best. So you need to be consistent. Uh, the on theme, kaupapa, always needs to be the same. So what I see sometimes is that some people go, oh, here's something neat that's happening over here. Here's something neat that's happening over there. You can bring it together on your kaupapa, but for someone who's following your page, it gets a bit confusing. They think everything you share is based at your organisation. So just to be mindful of that. And the levels of engagement that you're talking about, likes are good, comments are better, but shares are what you want. Because that means that you're proud enough to say, I like this, I'm going to go, I think you should come too. Or this is a cool video, or look at this. Sharing is what is caring mm -hmm. on social media. So here's your wet off. Uh, your filter shot, oh, I think you've done that one, add to the story. Now this is my actual phone, and that is my daughter with every filter in the world. <laughs> She's 10, and that's what they do for entertainment. So weird, that. Eh? So I just, I go into a shop and I come back and that's what there is. So that is their world, that is why it's there. Let's remember this hashtag, hashtag Final Order Week 2018. Uh, and let's use it, Facebook. Video is absolute king and queen. Video is everything. Like you saw the video, you're watching, you're pretty engaged, but again, think about the duration. Memes work as well. So this thing here is an apakata or a meme. <laughs> it's just a kōrero that has a cute background, quite often. Uh, and we'll talk, we'll talk about how you make that as well. Yeah? So these are some memes, <laughs> you hope you know. <coughs> <laughs> And if people share that, and it's got, you know, you can put a little logo if you made it. Um, they'll probably know if you've got Mr. Bean on it that you didn't make it. Uh, but those kind of things getting shared is what we call going viral, and it can be very good for your brand to you understand. Uh, this is one <laughs> that we made up in our whānau, a really important one know about Pākero. Mm -hmm. So as our whānau called it on Māori, uh, he looked all Mato the Waka, and then someone did it. It was an allegation of a party. <laughs> and uh, my son, Korero Māori, here, more you the Korero, whoever smelt it, dealt it. But he said it in English, so we had a while and we were, okay, how would we say that in Māori? And we decided, Koya Ihi, the one who sniffed it, Nane Ha, producer. Korero Mai, Koya Ihi, Nane Ha. Koya Ihi, Nane Ha. So I made that meme, other put it on our Mighty for Grown Ups page, uh, we've done it with some Kobo and it, it gets a life of its own there. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of the real Māori, uh, it becomes, you know, if we're lucky enough, that important kiwaha uh, will become part of the vernacular there. Koe hi nā nei ha. Okay, when it comes to uh, social media, here are some tips. As we say, ongoing engagement is what we need to achieve meaningful outcomes. So know your goal. What's your point of difference? How are you different from wins? What, who, and why, just like with the Fano voices, you need to tell them exactly all of that because if they don't know what it is, they definitely will not engage and definitely will not come. Who are you targeting? What time are they watching? What appeals to this audience? And what are the barriers to them engaging and how do you remove it? So if you're talking about a wahanga, or you're talking about mama and pepe, what would be a barrier to them getting there? It might be transport. So how do you ensure that they can get there? Is another barrier actually being able to bring your kids to something? So if you do all of this naturally, which I know a lot of you do, you have to tell them that. And even when you do, they'll probably still ask the question anyway. But me mana wanoi ne, so that's what happens. But you have to tell them as much as you can. Uh, then moderate, follow up, remind them, follow up, and remind them, and then follow up again. Because seeing something once isn't enough. So you have to find a way that you can create, uh, you can connect with them. You be at the place where they are at. Choose the right format. 
moderate, oh that's a few at work, the tono. And most importantly, stick to the cocoa Because when you don't stick to the cocoa bar, people don't know what it is and they go to another page. Positive and supportive. Think about if a few of you are authoring the page, how do we talk about our whanau? What are some of our ways that we talk about our mahi? To make sure that it sounds like us and it is our brand. Next. And be mindful that people interact in different ways. Not everyone knows how to do it on social media. And sometimes people will come across a little bit uh, rough because they, they don't really know what they're doing on this. Yeah? Okay, can you have a good one? So, um, who has heard of Canva? Canva. Canva is not a way to yeah, okay, cool. So Canva is um, a tool that you can get on your phone, it's an app, or you can go on to uh, Google and you can type it in. It's, uh, you can fit it for free, so you can log in or make a sign up. It's very simple um, and easy to understand. What's awesome about Canva is you can create your own design. Okay, and it gives you options as well. So if you're looking at doing a poster, if you're looking at doing a Facebook post, if you're looking at doing or creating even resumes, it's on there. Okay, and this is um, a tool that we use um, with our partner. So what we want you to do is, as a roku, as a team on your tables, is to create a meme. Okay, think of a meme, think of something either it could be happy, uh, funny, up to you, whatever you think a meme is. I mean, as a look, have a look, have a go at using Canva, but if not, okay, it's fine, just edit a picture um, on your phone. But yeah, so Canva, C A N V A, um, have a go at using Canva and thinking as a look um, on how to create a meme. Or you can just take a photo and put a picture of it. Oh, sorry, put some words in it. Fastest way to get news. 
Um, media MPs are all on it, so it's quite influential. And because journalism is so fantastically lazy now, quite often it becomes a hero article. And you don't even know until you find it and see it yourself, which is happy to be, which is quite big. But we trended yesterday. Now that's a big deal because as I said, I mean we're at the most talked about hui of the day. In Auckland, that's kind of a big deal. So that's why the hashtag creates the narrative, the hashtag creates the subject matter. So that people go, oh, what is that? What's happening? And it can lead on to other stories as well. It's an acquired skill. I need 240 characters to get your message across. Uh, who uses Twitter a lot? How long do you use it? Oh. But do you see the benefit of it? Yeah, I, I see. I use it all the receive it. Just to keep on touch with what's going on. So people are commenting on. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tihi, are you an admin for Tihi? No, okay. <laughs> Have you heard any quoted or about it? About Twitter? Or yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we, well, you would know we've been sort of using it for like, the fun or the hoi at the moment as well, but it makes it hard on my money because we quickly send stuff back to our admin person, which is our go to Twitter person, so yeah, we're still all contributing, but. Yeah, what I'd suggest for that is find the easiest way to contribute and send the message. Yeah. And sometimes it's just a photo. A photo and a couple of points about it so you don't have to spend the time thinking up something cool. Who finds it really easy to think up something cool? But not everyone does. So you need that person who's, who's the person who can do it. And then even when you look back at your social media from two years ago, it's embarrassing. Because you go, why did I say that? Oh my gosh. You know, like, you get better at it. So Twitter is quite helpful for sure. Um, it builds networks, um, do your kind of smart casual kind of vibe. Um, people swear on Twitter, but just also know that if you're going to have it as a work profile, that maybe you want to keep it on a particular sort of smart casual co um, For me, I didn't I just started to get into it and realised that it's quite powerful, particularly in terms of media, uh, in terms of politics, in terms of having influence and then stories coming out of it. Um, so I mostly do about Te Reo Māori or Kaupapa Māori on my personal one. Uh, these are some people you might want to follow, but seeing as hardly any of you are on Twitter, there's no point, but I would like to say that it's a real opportunity particularly for the people who are in management or uh, political type positions, that it is quite a big force. Even though they thought it was going to die, it didn't. So these are mostly people who have something to do with Fire Water. Uh, White Potatoes got really big into it as well, and Whitney is a big part of why that sort of started to be a thing. Um, so that's probably enough about Twitter. But these kind of things, you know, it can be pictures, just one picture usually, three maximum, but it's a really short portal. As we say, hashtag future makers. That's one of the things that they use on Waikareda. Collective impact is another one. And you can see how that's helped for everyone. If we start to build a bit of a brand for hashtag collective impact, then what I've done before is looked at Twitter and gone, I wonder what that is. And then you start to follow it through. Um, what I'd say, like, if I was going to be really picky about this photo, crop it, because otherwise you'd just like, that's cool. Um, this is good because it tell, you know, it's seen it. Pictures of people at desks is not that interesting. So try to think of it as visually, how you could just pop the photo, uh, maybe filter it to make it look a little bit cooler. Uh, you don't need to do one of those. Instagram. For engaging in Anapahi, I think if we did those steps even six months later, it'd probably go even more Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's just a story. Um, I didn't really focus on it in my media role, and now I realise I have to, and I'm getting offered to sponsor things, or get to be sponsored to uh, write things up. And then you have to make a decision about what works for you, uh, and if you actually believe in it. But say someone um, was making a joke about my husband had the same name as the Prime Minister, and just you now he photoshopped it, you put it on Instagram, and as you can see, you get the insights below. So you see how many people commented in the middle, how many people liked it, and then some weirdo saved it. Um, <laughs> okay! Um, but 800 million people worldwide. And I was just talking about the imagery, Kawai Tehe. Our imagery as Māori is really powerful. Our people like seeing us. And we're unique the world over, so that's an opportunity. And our whānau only look like us. 
Um, this is the Wapanega Instagram. I found it looks pretty, it's beautiful, right? And then you can see that they've made um, some little buzzy memes as well. <coughs> and then images like this. So that's the opportunity when you create a hashtag Urban Māori Proud, it becomes something that people actually <coughs> say, whānau future makers. So from Urban Māori Proud, that helped me express the fact that I realised that you can be, as I am, iwi hard and Urban Māori Proud. <laughs> they don't need to be music makers, <coughs> first of all, it it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those are the kind of things that can create a narrative. Count the one. Okay, create a hashtag. It's the last thing we want you to do. Um, Insta worthy, that means it's worthy of Instagram. You don't put just any photo up on Instagram, it has to be pretty cute. Um, it has to make the cut. The good thing about Instagram stories is they only last for 24 hours. So if it's not a photo that you want to post and have there forever, you put it up in your story and it tells you a bit about what, uh, tells people what you do in a day. And then actually you can see how many people look at it. It's weird, like a thousand people will look at it. It's really weird. Um, and then if you share it on someone who's got a lot of followers, their page then even more. Okay? So, hashtag bliss is a lyric from Bruno Mars, but it's also what you want to aim for, to get to the stage where what you have created as a hashtag gets its own momentum. Um, so hashtag bliss has become a thing, right? So we know we've got Whānau Auto 2018. Very quickly make up a new hashtag in your little right now. Okay. Hashtag. I always start over here, that's really me, and then do it again. Okay. Hashtag. Are you ready? 